Hey, what's up, everybody? BDO44 coming to you with another video. All right, so I got to respond to Dylan Brooks, or rather react. I ain't responding. He ain't talking to me. But, uh, yeah, reaction. Um, he s said a few things that are really dope in regards to sound bites for, for the media to soak in and, and talk about for the next six days. Uh, he essentially said, LeBron James old. He pokes bears. He don't care. You got to give him 40 if you want his respect. And I'm paraphrasing, of course. Uh, you know, I know Dylan Brooks has a lot of respect for LeBron James. He also knows that he needs to get in LeBron James' head so he can get an advantage and win the series. I've watched people like Dylan Brooks come along the way. You know, I, I've been watching people do what Dylan Brooks is doing for longer than Dylan Brooks has been alive. So I'm not surprised by what he's doing. I'm actually kind of amused by it. But, like, they had guys back in the day that would be there to just get in your head and that's it the Rajah Bells of the world and, you know, Matt Geiger Dennis Rodman uh, God there's so many dudes along the way you know they're only there Scott Pollard they're only there to get in your head <laughs> they're gonna get under your skin and they're gonna say things to you and they're gonna say stuff after the game and whatever it takes to keep you from thinking about the fact that you have an advantage on them because nine out of ten times they're usually not overly talented but that is what the million dollars worth of production actually is in them is that they can get in the other guy's head and provide an advantage to the other team to their team uh in that way so that's what i see there dylan brooks is doing what he has to do to continue to stay in this league as an enforcer uh he's got this wrestling kind of persona going on right now and i think he probably wants a bag with the wwe to be honest with you um which I think is a good lane for him, too. But at the same time, it's like, <clears throat> we got a game to win. And I just don't want LeBron James particularly to get, um, you know, get into a, a back and forth with that dude. You don't have anything to prove to him. He has a whole lot to prove to you, though. And I think that's what he's trying to do. Um, and so, you know, he's, 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 he's trying to gain the respect. At the end of the day, he's trying to gain it. And um, I don't know if you can get that by being disrespectful. But he won the game tonight. That's all there is too. He won the game tonight, you know. So we got to we got to respond to that, and that's what I want to say. You know, he said he wants forty. I'm pretty sure LeBron James will give him forty before the series is over. He will. But I don't want LeBron James getting hurt trying to do it. And I certainly don't want LeBron James getting to his first NBA fist fight with this kid. That's just we don't need you getting suspended. Nothing would make him happier than to take a punch from you. Nothing. Nothing would make him happier. He would take that on the chin to even up the score. I guarantee you that. So don't give him nothing. Um, you know what I mean? And that's it. Because I know one thing's for sure. He ain't stupid enough to swing at LeBron. That's a bad career move. The boy be stuck in the worst team for the rest of his career. And any the first time he have a knee injury, he's just going to be like, oh, we just can't seem to get you off the bench. Dylan, oops. Oh, uh, no, nah, we can't give you that money, Dylan. Uh, nope. So many doors are closed, Dylan. So <laughs> I'm just telling you what I think will happen. It don't necessarily have to play out that way, but I don't think... Waging war against that dude is a good idea. It ain't. But keeping it positive in regards to just good competition. Hey, it worked for Draymond. It worked for Draymond. So, it is what it is, man. At the end of the day, Dylan Brooks is going to have to continue to hit shots in an efficient way. If he's not going to be a liability to this team, I don't care what he does or does not say. That's the reality of it. He's a very aggressive player. So, if he's not making shots, he's going to help us. So, he didn't do too much tonight as far as production for him to be talking like he did. He really didn't. You know, like 12 points, something like that. He didn't do like He wasn't like that. He, he he had the defensive assignment, so I give him his credit. Uh, but Braun still had a fantastic night. I thought Braun was fantastic, so I don't know.